One thing I've always wanted to do is become a better artist. I've spent countless hours looking at instructional drawing manuals, watching online tutorials, having professionals lecture at me, and I've even had the creator of Rainbow Bright tell me how much I suck at shading. And you know what? I still suck. So let's dig through the Play Store and see how much I can improve using the power of Android. All right, let's see. Ah, this'll work. How to Draw Spaceships and UFO by Fun Art Draw. Oh cool, the Millennium Falcon. Step one, you draw a circle. And step two, all of the details. And the next step, all the details you forgot. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the norm from now on. It's not just the Millennium Falcon either. Pretty much most of these follow the same model. Draw a simple polygon, then draw all the details. No explanation, you just do it. <sighs> Let's try something else. How to draw animals for kids. Which is no longer listed on the Play Store. Well, let's see. We can draw snails with tits, nightmare fuel ants, callos, or cancer. You know, the zodiac constellation that looks like a lobster? Right next to Leo the table saw? This one is kind of a mixed bag. While some of the tutorials have steps laid out very well, Others just kind of suck, just like the first one. Although this one has a few that do work well as references, most of them really don't help. Next. Alright, this next one is just simply How to Draw by Artel Plus. This one sports some halfway decent drawings, as well as multiple things that look melted. Allow me to demonstrate. On a few of these tutorials, it does show you a few more steps to follow before you sketch things out, but for the most part it goes with the whole how to draw spaceships method of teaching. You know, draw a circle, maybe two triangles, and just finish the drawing. I believe I'm starting to sense a pattern here. We're gonna move on. How to draw cartoons Frozen by Cubic White. There's no way this is going to be any better, is it? Alright. So when you first launch this app, it occasionally freezes on the splash screen for a while. But when it's done loading, the splash screen doesn't change. And to start it, you have to tap the screen. That means, unless you sit there and continue to tap the splash screen, it's hard to tell if the program's ready to start. So this app is losing points even before I've pulled up any of these tutorials. Let's open one up and see how much it fails to impress. Wait, what is this? They have you model the entire pose before you start adding details? And when you do add the details, it's done in a logical and manageable order? Holy shit. Out of all the Learn to Draw apps, why is the one based on the Disney movie the only one that's actually useful? Hell, this one even has space allocated for the ads, so it doesn't resize the UI every time it pulls one up. I think I have this whole thing figured out now. All the good drawing apps are the ones aimed at little girls. Alright, let's do this. Learn to Draw MLP by Easy Monster and Pony Draw. Alright, so... Wait, why does this UI look familiar? Oh shit. Besides the difficulty marker, everything looks just like that how to draw spaceships one. But, can it be? Let's see, you draw a circle and...
screw more sketching, you just draw the rest. All right, well, I guess there's no method to this. So let's go back to using something generic. How to draw art lessons from Draw Art Studio. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this, but the spaceships and MLP apps are actually contained in this one. For those of you keeping score at home, None of the apps that are contained here are uploaded by the same developer. Oh shit, maybe I've stumbled upon some kind of conspiracy. In fact, this has the same UI, including the difficulty levels seen in the How to Draw Spaceships app. The only pre-installed categories are anime animals, featuring a cutie markless rarity from the MLP app, and cats and kittens. Whatever could be in here. Let's see, a few generic cats, Tails the Fox, and Amy Rose, who is supposed to be a hedgehog. For the most part, this app has tutorials just as poor as the How to Draw Spaceships and MLP apps. That being said, there aren't as many categorical mistakes like we saw in the cats and kittens section. Now I've looked through this app for a long time, and something that actually surprised me was the band logo section. I thought that this would be one of the worst sections in the app, something I could get a good chuckle out of. Honestly though, this is the only section that actually works as a tutorial. At all. Alright, and with that, I think I'm ready. Check, please. Son of a bitch! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Android Anomaly. Did you know that Ruptured Studios is now doing a Let's Play series? Click the link to see the first episode. If you haven't done so already, please give us a like on Facebook, and as always, have a great week!